is Coda Territory Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello, everybody. Local high school wrestlers have turned in a strong season, and today they look to get off to a good start at the state tournament. This year's state tourney is being held at the Premier Center in Sioux Falls. At 106 pounds, Rapid City Central's Pierce Hurd pins Chamberlain's Brody Nelson in just 26 seconds. Hurd making quick work of things at 215 now. Sturgis' Zach Jolfs taking on Harrisburg's Sam Sutton. Jolfs scores with the near fall and wins the match by major decision 13. 13 to 2 to the ladies where Lakota Tech's Grace Eagle Elk takes care of business by pinning Pierce. Heavenly Thompson, the Tataka are fifth as a team after day one. Sturgis leads the Class A boys team race while the Badlands Brawlers are tops for Class B boys. Now in girls basketball, we had Sodak 16 qualifiers. Red Cloud rolled past Lakota Tech 75-27. Winner knocked off Todd County 61-26. The Belfouche girls are headed to the Sodak 16 with a 50 55-45 victory over Rapid City Christian. Hill City defeated St. Thomas Moore 39-35. The Wall Girls advanced to the Sodak 16 with a 68-22 victory over Phillip. Kadoka won a tight game over White River 53-50. The Harding County Girls move on to the Sodak 16 with a 62-26 victory over Timber Lake. Lemon took care of Faith 50-39. Top dart throwers have made their way to Rapid City for the state tournament. Here's a look at what it takes to excel in the sport. Top dart players from around South Dakota are meeting up at the Monument for the state tournament this week. Brookings' Chris Whisney competes in the elite division. It's pretty random that I got into, into darts, honestly. I used to throw, or I used to play softball, and then I hurt my knee. And I just kind of, we were at a friend's birthday party. We were throwing darts in his garage, and then the rest is history. That was about eight, eight to ten years ago, and here we are. For those wanting to become a competitive darts player, practice and more practice is the key to success. Repetition. <laughs> Repetition is key. Um, just getting your muscle memory down, um, practicing your outs. That's, that's the biggest difference between... A 30 PPD and a 35 PPD is just hitting your outs. Um, so just practicing those double outs, it's, it's pretty huge. Fundamentals and technique play a key role in a player's success. Steady form and aim generally translates into a good score. I, I, I have a very, <laughs> I guess you could say unique uh, throw. Not a lot of people have the same throw that I do. I, I throw down at the board because I'm so tall. So it, it was tough to kind of get that lined up, but I think we're getting there. <laughs> One of the things Wisney enjoys about darts is the camaraderie that is shared amongst players. We have a really good dart family in South Dakota. I feel like everybody, like in the upper divisions, everyone's just super friendly. It's, it, it's just like you're throwing against your brothers. Um, I love hanging out with all these guys. They're just a lot of, a lot of fun, and it's never. I mean, obviously there's competition, but it's it's friendly competition. A lot of fun out there at the state dart tournament. The rush came up on the short end tonight, falling to a Greenville five to one. Let's take a look at some of those wrestling team scores. Class A boys, as we mentioned, Sturgis leads with 89 and a half points. Pierre is second with 80 points. Stevens is in ninth place with 47 and a half. Stevens is seventh, I should say. Central is ninth. Badlands Brawlers lead Class B with 73 points. Canton is second with 61. Custer is third with 54 and a half. Pierre leads the girls race. Canton is second. Lakota Tech is fifth. Spearfish ninth. That's a look at sports.